What it is? What it is? What's going on, everybody? So, boy, my rich man, what's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blessed day today, man. Today, we got our early sneaker review. You feel me, y'all like them earlies. I feel like y'all like the early, but I do not know if y'all feeling this kick, man. I'm already seeing a lot of hate for this sneaker before it even dropped, and I'm even seeing early resale prices be either retail or under retail. In my opinion, what's the purpose of that? I don't get it. What's the purpose of reselling the shoe if you selling it under retail? If y'all can get some info for me, are they getting the shoe for wholesale? Is they getting the shoe for free and they selling them? Or is these these actual companies and stores that's getting the shoes saying they the, the buzz ain't big on them, so let's just go ahead and throw them on uh, Golden Stock X and get rid of many pairs as we can. Y'all let me know. Um, I think this shoe already dropped in the UK though, so maybe that's the reason. But still, under retail, like you buy a shoe for retail and sell it for un under retail, What's the point? You feel me? I don't know. Y'all let me know about that. Anyway, shout out to my guy, Retro Rick. Y'all already know who he is. Retro Rick. Follow him. Holler at him. He's the plug. You feel me? He the plug. Plug. Anytime I need an early pair. Anytime I need a shoe. My guy be looking out. You feel me? Shout out to Retro Rick, man. For letting me see these things early. Now, this is a big box because it's a size 14, but that, that just means we're going to get we gonna get to see the details even more. As you can see, this box is the Air Jordan 1 box and it's fully elephant print with the black Nike and the swoosh on the box. Like I said, regular Air Jordan box, same thing on each side. Only difference is, it is black and elephant print. As y'all can see, you feel Feel me. So yeah, I just looked at the release dates. They actually dropped on February 25th overseas and they dropping on May 6th over here in the States. You feel me? Official name is the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. The official colorway is tech gray, muslin, black, and white. I'm thinking the retailer be 180 since it's a Jordan uh, 1. Let's go ahead and get into these things, shall we? I actually like them. Just a disclaimer, I actually like the shoe. And um, under retail, it's always good. You feel me? So anyway, needless to say, we won't be getting these as soon as they drop because it seems like people go sleep because they already sleeping. Let them things go right there. What, what color is the extra lace? You get a white extra lace. I would have put a cell lace in these right here with this cell mitt. So we're going to get into all that, man. We're going to get into the shoe, though. You feel me? And they deserve it. I don't care what nobody say. This is the thing about hype and then moving mysteriously. You got to you gotta give your own true opinion. <laughs> this is the Air Jordan 1 OG High in the elephant print colorway off bat like i said i like this shoe it's a mostly elephant print upper the elephant print on this shoe looks better than a lot of the elephant print we've seen on them white cement three man what we're going on with them going out the door if you can get it right on the whole shoe y'all can get it right on the, uh, on the heel and the toe of a shoe i mean come on jordan brand you feel me but anyway these are buttery they ain't even realized they had that butter shouting toe bar stupid you feel me like i said elephant print upper you have your black Air Jordan wing logo right there. Uh, the midsole is sail. Side panels is white. The tongue is actually gray, which I didn't even realize. It's like a really light gray. I thought it was like white or something. Then it has the uh, black a tongue tab with the sail Nike Air on it. I like the color blocking. The toe box is just straight butter. I don't know if y'all can be able to see that texture on here on this camera, but the toe box is buttery, bro. Like, it is, it's buttery. I mean, you really can't tell, but it's, it's straight butter. Anyway, like I said, elephant print, the bottom of the shoe is like that light, kind of like gray, but it almost, it's also, it's also kind of like blends in with the cell a little bit. The gray is just kind of like that light gray that looks kind of like tan a little bit or like a khaki color. Um, inside of the shoe, Nike Air, 
Since it's size 14, it's a big shoe. But I like them, man. I ain't hating on these at all. What the other shoe at? I also have the black swoosh. I am always dig the white paneling with the black swoosh against it. Look real dope. Said the same thing about the um, OG85 highs. That was, that was a very good look. Uh, the upper uh, collar right here. Really, really buttery. Buttery leather going on right here. Just, whew. Look at that. I just like them, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't get the hate on it. Is it... I mean, they, they've done this a couple of times on like, they did it on mids. I think they did it on highs before. And it's always pretty much the same reaction. People don't really go crazy. I think a lot of people just feel like they're doing too much with, with a whole elephant print vibe on a Jordan 1. Also, Jordan 1, specific colorways in Jordan 1s, people ain't really been feeling like, been sitting, they ain't really been selling out and stuff like that, which is fine with me. Like, the fact that I'm gonna be able to probably get these before, for under retail, I love it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like the shape of these too. It reminds me of the shape of the Shadow Bat Boys, how it kind of curve in the back right there. I think that's dope. So y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think of these, man. Like I said, only they came with white laces. I've been buying like extra laces lately. Um, these only come with the white laces. But I will like with this sale midsole for some reason. I, every time I put a little bit of sale or muslin in the shoe, I try to get something to kind of like um, match that. I got these vintage laces, which might be a little bit too. I got them from Rope Lace Supply. This might be a little bit too light for this shoe. So I also got. Um, just your cream laces that'll probably drip a whole lot better with that sale uh, midsole, man. I think it's fire, bro. Y'all come below and tell me what y'all think of these, man. Air Jordan 1 OG High Elephant Print. The full elephant print. I'm rocking, I'm rocking with these. It's gonna be hard for me not to actually go after them uh, when they drop and do a pickup vlog and go ahead and get my pair of retail day one. I might do it. I don't even care. Like, this thing about me that when Playoff 13s drop, I knew they was going to sit. When Cardinal 7s drop, I knew they was going to sit. It didn't stop me from going to the store on release date and getting my pair, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just, it's just something about, since we don't get to do it that much, if it's a shoe you really like, going to the mall when they drop and just getting them on release date. I know everybody telling me, Rich, you should have waited on the Cardinals. They went... They going down in price and stuff like that, but it was the fact that I was able to go in and get going and get them the day they drop for retail was good enough for me. I wasn't even mad at it. Even though you can get them for like one fifty, they was on sale for the Cardinals went on sale a couple of times. I wasn't tripping, and I still didn't double up. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I'm probably barely gonna wear that one. Like I said, a lot of shoes. Anyway. Air Jordan 1 OG High Elephant Print. Comment below and tell me what y'all think. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon. <clears throat> to the moon on them. Had to get it right. And keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as to bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just might hit. With richest kicks, I mean my rich. Yeah, ballin' all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. Yeah. My rich fans, shout it, that's what I got to give for. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. Yeah. Gone. All the way up to the moon on them. What's happening there, everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy. Bless. Hit that Nike snow just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Then we fly to Abu Dhabi. Then we gone straight up to the moon on them. Hey. 